Hello there everyone. Today I'm showing you a small tutorial of how to use the Voronoi 3D element in order to create a um, cave-like pattern and have well, like diamond cave-like pattern and being to play around with it a little bit and having um, certain like pathways that go through that cave and being able to manipulate it like rather easily and it's a very like simple um command but i hope you will lesson lesson through this small tutorial of how it actually works and um getting the idea of it works which is very important so we are starting out with just creating a simple point with the command construct point and it doesn't really matter where it is in this case it's just in the middle of the coordinate system well let me change this to grasp only mode so yeah um, we can also like change this point location if we put number slider on it so we have an x uh, or y definition on it be on the x axis or y axis a little bit more doesn't really matter anyway the next thing we're going to do is we construct a uh, box with um, in this time I use center box, use the base of the point. Um, it can also be like, um, if it's a plane, it can be a little bit ro rotated around it. And uh, we're going to uh, use um, the number sliders in order for the box to be big in every size. Now we have it like in X, Y, and Z direction. In obviously you can choose different styles and everything to it if I have it more rectangular obviously as well. Next thing we're going to do is we populate it with a number of uh, random points. Um, we've populated 3D and we will put this in the region that we want to use and we use the uh, Voronoi 3D command. I have to say though that Voronoi often really is kind of the easy way out so don't use it as a day-to-day -day use uh, in your grasshopper solutions. Um, what it does here in our case, it will create a um, basically points that will get like, let's say we have two points here and um, they will get bigger and bigger. And at the position, wait, no. And at the position where they will be um, hitting each other, so like um, basically here, they will form a um, like not a round shape anymore, but they will do a normal um, kind of polygonal shape which re results often in very nice like um, situations where you have uh, very nice um, in easy structures so um, we use this to our advantage and you'll be making a um, you're making the box that you already have we are creating like two small holes that will be connected to each other and this is basically our pathway and everything that's in this pathway will be basically free and in the other parts there will be the Voronoi areas as well. So this area here in the middle will be free and around here will be the Voronoi um, madness that will be happening. So in order to do this we will simply um, use the circle tool and we will deconstruct the um, plane of, or the, the, the cube that we already have, which is over here. Um, oh no, excuse me, we just uh, deconstruct BRAP, yeah. And this, is, this gives us uh, six different faces, which are corresponding to each of those um, um, of the shapes of, of our box that we already extruded 
or create it. And um, we're going to use the um, let's call it again MD slider, which will define a middle point of each of those curves. In this part, we will be um, needing to because this right now, if we use the evaluate surface command in order to get the right points, we have the problem that it will only show the points in the small area down here. And in order to combat that, we are using the um, I'll have to cheat a little bit because I forgot what I used this time here. Oh, yeah, and dimensions. Uh, command which gives us the dimensions of the surfaces here and you see the, the size here the, of the V and uh, U dimensions and we're going to multiply this by um, the dimensions that we're going to use here and now we see we have some um, very nice moving uh, planes on it and um, those planes we will be using for actually we're going to use it a little different but we are what I'm going to do in this case we just used a three-point arc and we're going to use a start and an end point so here we use a start point, which will be this one over here. And we're using an end point, which is somewhere else. And um, the middle point of the arc uh, will be the beginning point. So we have a really nice round arc. And we're going to use a tube or pipe and as in this arc with a certain radius that we also define here and we're also going to cap that as well with the flat cap so now we have uh, inside our small um, uh, inside our small thing we have like a pipe going through it so we obviously like if you change this number slider we have different position of the type. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to um, use the points who are inside, who are basically inside of this area here. So the points inside here you want to like take them out. So in order to do that we're going to use um, the point in brep command and we are using the brep that we have here the points that we have from the random point generator and we use we have a false or true um, boolean toggle a boolean out of it and with that, and with this patch, we have we can sort the cells out that um, we don't want to have, basically. So, if you use the geometry tip here, we will be having. Oh, okay, this is the one basically that's like the leftovers of it, and the other ones would be the ones who would be um, like ripped out. You can increase the raise a little bit so you can see through it a little bit. So yeah, and obviously we can change the way it is defined. And you can really easily make different variations of it by baking it. Moving a little bit around, playing with the parameters. Maybe just a different one here. Back again, 
move it then can use different parameters again maybe take a little bit smaller radius this time and um, a higher amount of points to do want I use this much well maybe it might be a little laggy because oh well we're not I'm gonna bake it again different variation and just like the last one here we take this to number five maybe this one to here and we're gonna put even more up let's see if my computer will struggle with that but it's fine Bake it, and we're gonna have another one over here. And yeah, and from that, if you have Vray on your PC, you can uh, with some very nice, uh, maybe the global illumination and the ambient occlusion, you will be able to make a very quick rendering of your things. Let's try this out really quickly. Maybe not in the highest resolution. Hopefully the this will not ruin the recording. Let's see. So yeah, that's some GPU rendering. But uh, wait, let's care about the resolution of it actually. And let's try to, yeah. So there you have very nice, kind of almost looking as if it was uh, in a cave or in some certain area, more natural definition of uh, of a cave or like a diamond cave. So yeah, it looks a bit grainy. I mean, obviously you can pump up the resolution and uh, make a nice rendering. But for a simple uh, homogen 10 minutes video, 